Wow. Um, so, it's so it's Saturday. Saturday. Uh, Kim's at work. I've got the dogs. There's Buddy. And he's retired somewhere. Uh, I am today going to possibly fit the coilovers on the front of the van. Got the T5 coilovers. Oh, she's just had a wee. That's what it was. So, wheels off. Checked up, wheels off. Um, we've got to take off. Got to come around. That. It's a 15 mil against the hub, the pinch bolt. Um, my van's strut dropped at the minute. So you just drop the strips as far as you can through the hub. Um, I've got to do the strut top mount, which is inside the van under the dash. Which is the bit I'm not actually looking forward to. There we go, strut suit. That's the old strut that's new coil over, new spring. Uh, I'm just going to clean that up. It's already cleaned up, but I'm just going to clean it up again. Uh, I might squirt some paint on it. I've got a feeling I might need to cut these off, the tags off there, which isn't a huge problem. Um, I'll just rip them off of the saw and I might put some paint on just to stop them going in. I think I'll probably slack enough them and adjust them when they're in because it'll be easier than trying to do it on the floor. So I can't hold it obviously. So yeah, now I've got to rip this one apart to put the top mount off that one. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give them a quick squirt of paint because I usually find it does help them stop going, getting all crud and all them back there. <laughs> you paint them and then cut a piece of threads. It helps a lot. It does help a lot. Some. The edge is rocked up. It's just wash, wash edge, but it's. Tags off. Just buzz through them with the saw. I haven't bothered cleaning the, the welds off. I don't need to. It's only for me. Uh, I've got some massy grey paint stuff. It was the first one I found in the cupboard that wasn't useful. So I get done this colour. Because why not? It's like a brownie colour. No. I usually do them with. Um, Weld, weld through zinc spray, and the zinc's good for stopping the corrosion, but don't have enough of that, so just etching them. Let's squirt some stuff on, you can see it says T5 there, T5 coilovers. for a couple of minutes. Well, I do the other one. I've got grey, I've got brown, or oh, it's charcoal grey, it's definitely brown like. Uh, got charcoal grey, I think it's brown. So that's strip dune, that's the original shock. Use the, the transit strut tops. Uh, I'm just going to throw mine through the, I'm going to give it a quick vapor blast, knock the top off, score some paint on, because it looks minging, it's all crusty and horrible, don't think it's ever been done, uh, and then put it all back together and get that side in, and whether I do the other side of the day I don't know, I might, I might not. So I've given the uh, strip top a clean off, not properly like, I just wanted to get most of the crap off because it was thick, as you saw before, it was thick of it, so I just thought I'll give it a quick clean off. Not bad we're getting it off properly, as long as it's better than it was, which it is. It is. Now let's give that a spray and get my struts back together, eh? It's pretty dark. Next bit I've got to do, well, the strip top's dry in there, which side. 
Uh, is I've got to drill the hole in the top mount to M14, so 14 mil. Because uh, the original ones are 12, and the trans the transporter ones are 14. So I'm just going to drill through that. Of course, everything's in the way. So yeah, give us two seconds. So that's the the strut and the spring on the coil over. Um, I've got the strut top, the bearing in, and the original strut top. I've drilled out to 14 mil. That's a pain in the ass if you don't have a decent drill. I've got a decent drill, but it's fucked. The snap-on drill's buggered. The clutch is knackered in it. So, so next, it's just a case of putting it all together. Put So that's it there. I'm use the when you convert them to coil, um, T5 coilovers to just sit on the inside lip. Uh, so that that's where the top mounts are. There's three 13 mils hold the top mount in, and the, under that carpet. And you can see, you just hack a hole in it, because if you don't, the trim actually comes up to the apron and pe it's all pegged in. The clips, it's a nightmare. If you just throw a stiny knife around it, it's not really very clear there, but... Can you see there? You can just see there's three tri in a triangle. And there, that's it. That's the top mount done. Uh, I haven't done that side yet. So again, that's the coil over in. It looks nice, doesn't it? Brown, because I had brown. <laughs> I said it was grey, but it's definitely brown. Well, definitely brown. It looks grey in the video, like, but it's definitely brown. Um, so that's that in. Woohoo! And now I've just got to put all this back together. And yeah, it's usually better to do this before you put your nice powder coat bombs in. But oh well, they'll be alright. So again, we've got some prodigy on the background on Radio 1. Winner. Put the, the shocks are in, colours are in, slips in through there lovely. So buttoned up, tightened up. I see it put a cable tie on to hold my ABS sensor in place. Everything's buddy dog. I don't know why I started the lift. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm fine. <laughs> oh well. Hunky dory. It's five o'clock now. I don't think I'll attempt the other side today. I think I'll make this one the end for the day. And do it another day because I really, to be honest, I don't know whether I want to be late, but I'll see how I feel. See how we we'll feel, then go from there. And also, soon, another video. I want to make brake ducts from the old, you can't see because of the light, it's crap, uh, where the old fog lights were. Because I've got the small kit on, it's got round lights, which I don't have in. I'm going to make brake ducts to keep my brakes cool. And I'm also getting a new set of brake carriers to run the bigger brakes on the front of this from Rick Pearson. They should be here sometime next week. Uh, I'll recon the other calipers, put my new carriers on, new discs, and away we'll go. Better brakes and ducks to keep them cool. And yep, so I've got blue, red, yellow, brown, black, white. It's kind of multicolored now, liking it. I think I'll probably stick with doing the calipers red, but I'll powder them instead of just spraying some red can over the top of the steel calipers this time. And then put some decent pads on. Away we go! So there we go, it's uh, it's new a week later, it's Saturday, a week later. I'm back on the van. 
Uh, that side's done, as you know in the in the video earlier to this. I'm doing this side today. Um, just, I'm not going to bother filming it because I'm running out of space on my phone, and also it makes the video too long anyway. Uh, so as soon as it's back up together, I'll get some pictures and some videos of the van and how it sits now, and tell you what I think. So I'll show you this bit. Um, we're doing the passenger side of the the near side. Uh, I've got the strutle pole doing. It's not pulling on the the um, brake flexi. It's just taut. It's not tight. It's not stretching it. I've got the jack under there to support it. Um, what it is is that's where your strut top is. So if you pull the glove box out, it's on these rubber things here. To push on the edges of it, like press it inwards so it pops the glove box out and pull it with the tags at the bottom you can get in It'd actually be easier as well on a mark 7 because you i think i'm not sure actually i think it might be easier i can't remember but it'll be about the same actually but that's where my um fuse box is because mine's a mark 6 converted with a mark 7 dash conversion should i say my fuse box is tied up in the bottom so it's up in there, it's three 13s up in the top of there. You always will probably be covered up by carpet, but mine's already been cut out. Because I cut it out when I put it together. But that's the easiest way to get in, and there's plenty of access doing that. Don't bother trying to go underneath, because it won't work. You'll just end up wanting to throw your spanner through the windscreen. Wait, coilovers are both on. Uh, it's been a couple of days now. Wait, it's Saturday when I fitted them, it's now Wednesday. I took the van home. I've done a little bit of run around, see if it'll settle in. This side needs dropped slightly. Of course, all the weights on that side from the camper conversion, essentially. Uh, this side needs dropping a smidge. It is sitting over in, in the gutter a bit, like, but and it drives nicer. It drives so much better when the coilovers on. Then there you go. You can see the, the gaps better there. But um, yeah, it drives so much better with the coilovers on because it's a little bit stiffer, but not too stiff. It doesn't wallow and move about and fall over and bounce. It's much nicer, so it's a good thing to do, good thing to do.